Well, guys, I got my first bag of half dollars. And I can't wait to search them. Look at that. Straight out of the coin machine, so hopefully we'll find something good. Hi, everyone. I'm Gina R. And I'm back with a bag of half dollars. Hi everyone and welcome back. As you can see, I have a bag. I got this from the bank and this comes straight from their coin machine. I requested half dollars and they had $957 worth of halves. So this will be the first time I search a bag of half dollars. So there is a possibility I could be shorted or it could be over, but I'll take care of that with the bank. Now, what I plan to do during this hunt is I got Rob Vine's treasure um, mat here. And I'm going to look at this section right here that deals with half dollars. So let me go ahead and zoom in. So let me adjust the camera here. And let's go ahead and take a closer look. Oops, see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So as far as his half dollars, he recommends looking for the 1971 which uh, Denver, which has a DD, uh, a double dime on the obverse. The 1972 Philadelphia, which also has Dublin on the obverse. Also the 1972 Denver, which is known not to have the FG initials of the designer. Also, the 1973 and 74 and 77 Denvers, all of those have Dublin. The 1982 Philadelphia, there are some out there that have no FG. Also, to look for the 1987 Philadelphia or Denver, which is a low mint. And that was not intended for circulation. That was, that's what the NIFC stands for. And also, and he also has it there. And also to look uh, for coins from 2002 uh, to present that were NIFCs also. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Also, I'm going to be looking for silver. So hopefully I'll have some silver in this bag which would be awesome because I'll be getting each silver coin at 50 cents. So to get a silver half dollar at 50 cents, that's pretty amazing. So I'll keep my fingers crossed that I do find silver. So enough said about what's going to happen during this hunt. Let me go ahead, start going through this bag. And if I have any finds, I'll be back to share them with you. So are you guys here to help me look for silver half dollars? You look excited, Ponchi. Gaston, are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? Yes? Alright. So you all can sniff them out. Is that right, Ponchi? Is that right, Ponchi? Or do you guys want to go outside? Want to go outside? Oh, you want to go outside. To make things easier on me, what I did was I replicated what it would look like in the box. I did stacks of $10, and there are 10 uh, stacks here, so this is $100. So this would basically be one row in a box. Now, while I was doing that, yes, I did check the edges to see if there was any silver. As far as I could tell, I didn't see any obvious silver but you never know i will now go through them and see if i can find any type of dublin or the missing fg 
or any of the not intended for circulation half dollars. So if I find something, I will be back. If not, I will continue this process until I'm done with the whole bag. So hopefully I will find something. So let me go ahead and get started with the search. And hopefully I'll see you soon and not at the end of this bag. Well, after going through 50 rolls, which is the same as a box, all I found was this Kennedy half dollar with a hole up here. Someone just drilled a hole there. Don't know exactly for what reason. This is a 1984 Denver. And then I found two for my folders. I did find a 2021 Denver that I was missing and I'm missing the 2022s. This one is a Denver. In fact, all the 2022s that I found in the first 50 rows were all Denver. So I picked the best. Well, as you can see by looking in the bag, we still have another 40 some, 45 rows, I believe, to go through. So let me go ahead and search those. Now I'll be back if I find something or with a wrap-up to this video. I'm on row number 56, and I found something that I've never have found before. And let me go ahead and zoom in so I can, you can get a better look at it. Here is the reverse side of the half dollar. It says United States of America half dollar. And when I flipped it over, guess what? It says the same thing on the other side. So I got a double tails. So more than likely this is a magic coin. But wow, this is really, really cool. This is my first one. That is awesome. This is an awesome find. Never have found one before, so this is definitely something I'm hanging on to. All right, let me continue searching. I was getting ready to count out the coins for row number 74 when I noticed one that is a lot different from the other ones. We have silver, and it's old silver. Look at that. Let me zoom in. So let's see what we got. Oh, wow. We have a walk in Liberty. And I'm going to zoom in even closer. Oh, this is old. A 1939. Wow, that is cool. And it's a Denver. So it's a 1939. Denver Walk in Liberty. <laughs> that is cool. I really didn't expect to find silver, especially old silver. Wow, I am super excited. This is awesome. Well, we're done going through this bag. Wow, that was $957 worth of half dollars. So pretty much that's equivalent to two boxes of halves. Wow, that's a lot. And it sure did take a lot of time, especially because I was looking for those uh, double dies and the missing FGs and also that 1987 half dollar that's a low mintage. So wow. Now, here are the finds for this hunt. I did find two for my 2014 to present folder. And that is the 2021 and the 2022 Denver half dollars. I'm missing them. So they'll go into this folder. Also, here are three other fantastic finds. This one, I always like finding these. The ones with the little hole drilled on top. My guess, it might have been used for jewelry or a keychain. It's hard to tell what they used it for, but that's pretty interesting. 
I really got a kick out of finding this one. It has a double reverse on it. Wow. So this is cool. I think it's a magic coin. I'm not sure. But regardless, this is really cool find. I've never have found anything like this before. So this will definitely stay in my collection. But this has to be the best find of the hunt. The 1939 Denver. Look at that. This is a beautiful silver coin. So not bad. I wasn't expecting to find any silver. And if there was any silver, I figured it would have probably been uh, a four, uh, 40 percenter. But hey, I'll take a 90 percenter any time. So this was fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you're not subscribed, hey, why don't you subscribe? You'll get notifications when I put new videos up on my stream. So I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye, everyone. Such a good helper. You want a treat? Treat? You want a treat? Good boy. Ponji, you want a treat too?